remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Someone went online and told Wale that their sister has a one-year-old who is a huge fan of his. They said that the sister oftentimes tagged Wale in her post. And because the nephew is such a huge fan, the least Wale could do is repost. Sent him a very angry, angry message. Before I get into the message, is Wale obligated to repost fans who tag him? Here's what the person had to say to Wale. Mm, hi, yes, Wale. So my sister tags you in all of her stories when my nephew is listening to your songs. He loves you and the fact that you can never repost just one on your story is real shitty. He is only a year and loves you. Just wait until he gets older and I tell him how much of a dickhead you are since you can't show love to him, but a one-year-old is showing you all this love. Are you too good for him? Let me answer that for you. No, no you aren't, you rude shit. Get it all the way together. I will check back in later to see if you got it through your thick ass head of yours. Have a great day. <laughs> That'll teach him. Oh, she's sure to get a repost now. First of all, there isn't a one year old on this planet who has any idea who the hell Wale is. The kid is one. At one, you're supposed to be learning numbers and words and other developmental skills. That person, whoever it was, auntie or uncle, is a piece of work. I was about to say, I, I hope it's an auntie with that type of tone, but either way, they're rotten to the core. Trying to put that type of pressure, <laughs> trying to put that type of pressure on a one-year-old. You can't try to throw the one-year-old under the bus like that, trying to use the one-year-old to get to Wale, trying to pull the heartstrings using a one-year-old. Celebrities owe fans nothing but the product that they have advertised and the fan has paid for. That's it. On a personal note, sometimes I check my messages, notifications, and tags. Most of the time, I don't. It's not that I'm trying to be disrespectful or I care any less about the people who support me. It's just that if I tried to check all of those messages and alerts and tags, I wouldn't have time to do the things that I have to do. So if someone tags me, sends me a message, it's a crap shot that I'll get it. And if they're talking reckless, oh, there's zero chance that even if I did get it, they're going to get a response. If you go to your favorite restaurant and you enjoy the food, perhaps the chef is a great cook. I mean, a star. And you're a fan of his work. If you go online and tell the whole world how great that chef is and how well he prepared your food and all of that stuff and how delicious it was. And you tag the chef. Is the chef supposed to like find you and say thank you and repost? Perhaps the chef don't even check his inbox. 
perhaps the chef ain't even got a damn social media account. That's a little different here. I mean, we know that Wale does have accounts, but who knows who's manning those accounts? And even if he was checking his own account, I'm sure he gets a minimum of hundreds of messages every single day, hundreds, thousands of tags. So he re you really expect this man to sift through all of those damn messages where he's been tagged, those posts where he's been tagged, and find you in the haystack. <laughs> Here's the deal. I'm going to give y'all some inside information here. This is how it goes. It is frustrating when you reach out to a celebrity and the celebrity doesn't acknowledge your message for whatever reason. The thing is this, though. Perhaps they don't see the message. <clears throat> perhaps they do see the message. If you're persistent, perhaps one day they'll see the message and respond to you in a positive manner. Perhaps they'll repost something that you tag them in. If you act civil, but I can guarantee you if you have an attitude and you start talking down to them, trying to belittle them because they're not getting at you fast enough, <laughs> there's absolutely no chance that they are going to ever repost something that you posted. And they will definitely ignore you. They will avoid you and they will cut you off. So if that's the outcome you're looking for, if you, you, you're willing to gamble like that, then go ahead. But it just underscores how some of these people who consider themselves, who call themselves fans, how deranged they are. And that's how they are in life. Some people are just entitled. They think because it's them the world is supposed to stop because it's them. You're supposed to like redirect your whole life because of them. You're supposed to re rearrange your whole life because of them. They act like the world revolves around them. That's how some of these killers act. You know, the dude that can't get the girl. So he decide, you know what? I'm just going to kill all the women. I'm going to rape and kill them, kill them all. That's that person who sent that message to Wale, that's a sociopath. And if he or she thinks that that is the way to uh, get someone's attention and to have someone to do something for you because you're asking for a favor, if you want somebody to do something for you, that's an old saying. You catch more bees with honey than you do vinegar. Whoever you are, whatever your name is, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.